Like, is this just almost a marketing strategy for PA? Let's just make the game as good as possible, get everyone to love it, and then we're just gonna screw the whole game over. We're gonna burn the player base. We're gonna ruin everything, make everyone talk so much shit on this game, and then we'll come back and fix it. And then everyone loves the game and everyone's buying weight and costumes and inventory expansion space again. And look, there's a new class. <laughs> Vessel had a really long-winded, solid rant on certain topics in the game. I felt like he held a really valuable opinion as someone who is in the deep, late game and PvPs a lot. So here he's talking about Arena of Solare. The title of this is another brutal reality check. Oh boy, let's cook. I appreciate all the support. Thank you, everyone, that's just that's been tuning into these. I just want to just say thank you. And if you, if you don't mind, let's that like and uh, commenting uh, on the video. Yeah, you got it. Like. And I'm subscribed. All right, let's get it going. Yo, this will be huge. So today we're going to talk about the only form of PVP they're allowing us right now, Arena of Solaire. Let's get into it. So we're finally here. It took us nine months. We have ranked, ranked Solaire. Nine months until the next season of Solaire. Solari, whatever you say. I'm saying Solaire this video. Nine months for a new season. That is way too long. This should have been like one month breathing room tops. Not to mention Solaire, in my opinion, is some of the most fun PvP content in this game. The fact that it's got a leaderboard, the fact that it's got statistics being tracked that everyone's been asking for. And you would think that you would see motivations and inspirations taken from this and put into the large scale scene. But that's a whole other topic. Uh, it just cost us Guild League, yep. Node Wars, yep. um, an open War world. That's open world. Uh, am I reading this for Yeah. Okay. Open world PvP, that's a thing. We're talking about Arch has a life scaling server. So, yeah, what used to be optional is now your only form of fun. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right. So, ranked AOS after nine months. Hooray. And guess what? Oh, no. They've actually almost fixed absolutely nothing. They have added some crystals mm -hmm. and changed some crystals a little mm -hmm. bit, which you could argue is a tiny bit of a fix with the whole resistance issue. Mm -hmm. But with all the other blaring issues, it's really hard to say. And by no fixes at all, I mainly mean a lot of the people I know that are really, really good at the game, they said they would not take this AOS season seriously or even participate if Scholar was still a thing. Guess what? Scholar is, of course, still a thing. Gimmicky maps. Uh, what is with the, like, why have classes based entirely off forward guard and then have a map that blows up your entire forward guard? Did they think this through at yeah. all? The answer is no. Why does frontal guard not offer collision? How the fuck are there classes that can break through your whole character, go through your frontal guard and knock it down? How come frontal guard does not give full collision? That should be a thing. The only thing that makes you go by that frontal guard should be an iframe. I do not think that classes should have stuff like that. Frontal guards should offer some viability rather than being blown up immediately. For some classes, it's not the case. You, you, don't, you don't get me worked up right now, Vessel. Why is that even? I, I don't know, man. The only thing that makes sense at all is the wind buff. DP buff's too strong. Fire buff's too strong. Give I think the wind buff's kind of cool. I like how it's not... I don't think it's super overtuned. It used to be super overtuned, in my opinion. But I, I don't know, man. I don't think buffs should even exist. I only like the idea of buffs existing in a comeback stance. Like if it's a 1v2, if it's a 1v3, and then those types of buffs are being procced because there's like a low volume of uh, competitors on the opposite side. So it, get, it the buff pops up and it gives them a chance to make a comeback, the comeback play but it also has a chance for those buffs to be stolen and have that comeback opportunity smothered as well i love it for that type of stuff to turn around around but e even then like i i personally don't think it's too needed now bugs there's some v detection bugs there's some way you ways you can detect bugs really easily i don't do them at all actually but like i i mean they're usually based around your just setting your graphics certain ways that I know. I like how you lightly covered that even though you knew everything about it but go on we got the same aos season Except, bum, 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 they changed the game. Did they really change the game for no. Solaire? This is what I'm getting to. The new DR patch. Yay! Everybody else is super happy and uncapped, right? Mm -hmm. well, here's my issue. None of the game is uncapped. Except for Guild League, which they patched out of the game. Thank yep. God. We were having actual fun. They added the DR patch, and this really only benefited, like, maybe the super tanky classes? Yep. In my opinion? Yep. No, suck Nova, Suck Zerker, Draconia, Striker... Guardian, Scholar, Warrior. I keep going here. AOS is the only thing anyone does. And ignore AOS. 
Just yeah. like I thought they would. Don't you know it's PA first, player second, homie? It's like the same thing, but worse. They made they actually made it worse somehow. I think that a major reason it feels worse is because every time they come out with Solar, they never do class balance based around Solar at all. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they're thinking. How can they call it ranked and then never balance it? <laughs> He raises such a good point. They're also really good at putting content in this game. And then once the wheel is made, they just let the wheel roll. And doesn't matter how much tread this tire has, the wheel or tire is just going to keep turning and keep going until there's like nothing left. There's not regular maintenance done to the capacity that would make it feel like this product is being made and catered with love. I'm having a hard time cracking jokes because it's just such a fucking shame. The biggest meme, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Yeah, get, get it. Get yeah. it. There. I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, like how many Drax and Suck Zerkers are in the top 100? Yo, how could they do this to Solaire? I will say the one thing they always manage to sometimes do is give you a little buff in rewards. Okay. They said they were going to do that months ago. I was even mad when they when they came out with AOS and it wasn't buff rewards because they said they were going to do that. Yeah. It's like if they want this content to have a good lifetime, compensation should just should be equal as rewarding as any playtime spent in any department of this game. Things that require more engagement and more activity, I personally think should be more rewarding. Like if I'm going to go AFK to seven C's and deliver one coin from from one side of the map to NPC on the exact opposite side of the world. And the only thing I have to do is hit one button to get there and then wait. I don't think that should be necessarily super rewarding. It's astounding to me that content like that is more rewarding than the content that requires more active involvement, such as Solare, a skill-based type of activity as well. Skill-based stuff should absolutely have those types of things as performance rewards and things like that. There really should be more currency per hour in activities like this, such as RBF, such as Arena Solare, and things of that nature that allow people to be actively involved at any scheduled window. You can join RBF anytime. Ranked obviously is a, is a, is a broad window that's limited. However, it's not like one fucking time a day, node war here. It's either snipe or it's a two hour fight or whatever. Only that little window in 24 hours. But the compensation for that amount of time and effort put into that, though it is better with the tokens that they currently have, it's still insanely laughable. So they did buff the rewards. We'll give them credit for that. I don't really care about the new rewards. Exactly. Who does? It's not like we can give a praise. Some of the new rewards are buffs. So let's be fair. That's one good thing. On that same note, though. I got my toilet paper ready. Shit on it. The only form of PvP we have now. Yep. I say that having won a node war yesterday with, I think, 10 people. <laughs> node wars are kind of a joke. And, and they patched out Guild League. So... Yeah, and what the... F is with that are we just like are is guild league and solaire just sharing the same servers or something so we're reaching out to the server host being like hey we're gonna install the new pack here to make sure to throw on solaire for us and take down the guild leagues pack what the fuck was with that so many people had so much fun playing that shit too a hot take but i really feel like the guild league pvp needs to be the new rbf system and they don't care about it so what are we left with well angry fucking snowflakes in the reddit threads what are we left with well let's just take a look here Let's take a look here at the uh, the top 100 and rank. I'm seeing... Oh, look, Draconias and Zerkers. Armin always is, is my boy. He'll always let everybody know what's up. But yep. when you see this guy not playing Ninja... His main class, by the way, for those that don't know, playing on a meta class rather than playing on their main class. And it's, it's probably not because Ninja is crazy weak, right? It's just that much better. It's because of how much crazy strong the Berserker is. Yep. By the way, nerf, they nerfed Drac, right? <laughs> totally nerfed. Totally nerfed. Yeah. Heals more than ever. I got literally two skilled in AOS by a Dracania. But my boy King James, shout out to King James. He was he really made me feel better. He was like, it's not your fault, man. You did good. That still doesn't feel good. With the same classes, getting more powerful, everyone else feeling weaker. The entire gameplay loop itself, well, it's getting less and less fun. Like, is this just almost a marketing strategy for PA? Let's just make the game as good as possible, get everyone to love it, and then we're just going to screw the whole game over. We're going to burn the player base. We're going to ruin everything, make everyone talk so much shit on this game, and then we'll come back and fix it. And then everyone loves the game, and everyone's buying waiting costumes and inventory expansion space again. And look, there's a new class. Just create the problem and then just solve it after. We got to make them wait. We got to let this paint dry for a long time. This is essentially just fancy practice mode now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give my opinion on it. I really want everybody else to give their opinion on it. I might be entirely based, but I, I do feel like they just put no thought into this. 
And uh, this is what you got, so to speak. They know they know they have us by the balls, I guess. Bro, do you do you really think the devs are grinding Solaire? Do you really think the devs are hopping into current state node war? Do you really think that these devs are testing these new classes against their current ones and running through these with experienced players that know how to do all these little finesses? Of course not. Oof, let me just read my summary. So they tried to appease us with crystals, and they didn't do a horrible job. First of all, the PvP community overall should be should like the crystals change. That is very, very, very rude of me to cut you off. I'm sorry. Keep going. Not a big deal. Keep in mind, they just redid the they just redid all the defensive stats. They didn't redo it. They killed evasion. They didn't redo shit. Wait till special evasion turns into HP. Evasion's dead. They obviously still have no idea how the F the game works. They just redid all the stats. And for them to actually have gone into all this work recently. Stop it, I can't handle this truth. Don't tell the truth. Always got, always got the notes. Why does this say not horny? They still have no maidens? Is he maidenless? Dying faster than before. There's nothing more frustrating than going into ranked game, getting your grab off, and dying in one second. <laughs> Actually, one second after they made you 20% tankier in your super armor, after they gave you 40 DR, like, do they not understand the way their own game works? The answer is yes. Please ask somebody who knows. Please. You know how, like, guilds have their trials and stuff? They need to trial players before taking advice from them. But obviously, that's, yeah, they're not going to do that. Ah, oh, man. He's happy. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm just trying to get. I'm so happy for how happy you are. I can clearly see it. It feels like they're making us do this before it was a fun alternative. Before it was like, oh, y'all are grinding? <laughs> now, it's like, if you want a PvP, here's your AOS. You don't get any open world. You don't get any guild league. You don't get any of this other stuff. And you don't get any silver either. But that's just my opinion. I'm entirely based. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. I feel the same way. Comment.